Gladiators ready to mark the return of the iconic series me, Amir and Joe have unleashed our alter egos. We are joined by Comet, Phantom and Nitro alongside Gladiators legend Ulrika Johnson. Now tomorrow night sees the return of a TV classic. In a moment I'll be talking to Gladiators newest superhumans Comet, Phantom and Nitro as well as the host of the original series Ulrika Johnson. But first let's head back to the 90s. And a very, very warm welcome to Gladiators. Tinder ready! Gladiators ready! And there's lightning! What a broadside! Bet that rattled her cage. Now the cannonball run to the mortar. And he's picked him off. A blood curdling cry. And it's a goodbye from all of us here, and even these giggling oh, rattle behind us. Good night. Oh, Rika, that just took me back to my weekends. It was appointment <laughs> to view television, wasn't it? It was massive. It absolutely was, and I think that was the great thing about it. It was obviously the days before streaming and whatever else. So you made a point of going and sitting in front of the telly as collectively as a family, uh, preferably not dressed as a referee, which I realise I've come as today. <laughs> you're, cha you're channeling your inner know, my, my inner John Anderson. <laughs> but, um, no, it was a really... I think the great thing was that it was such a an amazing family show. Yeah. It had fun, it was sort of wholesome, it was cheeky, it was naughty, it was rock and roll, and yeah, it was just, it, I think it sort of felt like it had everything. And did you get a sense of that on the very first episode? Were you aware of just how big it was going to become? Oh, that we hair. all had our, th that hair was fantastic. I was <laughs> jealous of that hair when I used to watch you. I knew I could never have it. And um, But we all had our favorite. We all knew every single name of the gladiators. Mm. I wanted to be Jet. You oh. know, we all had our favorites. Yeah. Yeah. Um, did you get a sense of that in those early days? No, I think uh, when we first first started filming it, we had to invite members of the public in to sit in the audience. And of course, nobody knew what Gladiators was. So we probably only had like 100 people and we had to move them around the arena to have them in the back of shot to make it look as if the arena was packed. <laughs> but within no time, word spread around Birmingham and suddenly, you know, people were queuing to come in. And then we, we would be recording in front of, you know, 8,000 people. and. Yeah, there were some really big surprises there. Like Lightning became a huge star because she was a gymnast and she, you know, she was absolutely amazing. And um, you know, I had my own personal favourites too, like Saracen. And we had four of them were called Mike in real life. So <laughs> so really. But of course, I always knew them by their gladiators' name, gladiator names. So, yeah, yeah. So it's the safest way, isn't yeah. it? Just keeping yeah. keeping yeah. character. Um, it, it was, like I say, such a huge show. And I think the new series seems to be in keeping with what went before. I mean, the music's the same. Mm. It looks quite similar. There's a lot of the, the, the competitions are the same yeah. as well. Um, there's one thing lacking this time around, which I know you're not happy about. Yeah. No, I, I got... Um, I had the privilege of having a preview of the of the show on on Wednesday, and absolutely, I mean, brought tears to my eyes because they've kept the music and and the general feel of it. So really, they've done a great job, um, but no cheerleaders, and I just don't understand it. I don't know if it's some kind of wokery, but um, you know, the whole point. The cheerleaders brought such, they just brought another level and and some depth to it, and. They're gorgeous and talented girls. Like we, we had such a lovely time together with with them. They were really like, yeah. They were, I don't they're understand. They're fitness superstars in the room. Yeah, really, yeah. Aren't they? No, they were. They were so. Um, they were so great. And I. It's just a shame that they're. That, yeah, it's not, minus not the cheerleaders. Decided. I don't know what the reasons are. But, but like you say, very nostalgic for you to, to watch it again. I yeah. Suppose. It was a huge part of your life. Yeah, for many years. Mm -hmm. So I went through everything, like my first pregnancy, yeah. divorce, <laughs> infidelity, <laughs> all of it. <laughs> packed it all into, <laughs> uh, into those years. Saturday night. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was like its own entertainment show. But yeah, no, it was, um, it was a really... And it was a, you know, a month... Uh, it, the month of August, every year, was taken up by Gladiators. Yeah. I always had my birthday up. Then Rightly we so. Filming. It was brilliant. I just wonder if the Gladiators class of 2024 are ready for the spotlight that is about to, to mm. bestow them all. We shall find out. Um, let's go, Ulrika. This is the class of 2024. Our new Gladiators are three of them at least. Please welcome Comet, Phantom and Nitro. <laughs> there they are! <laughs> Magnificent! <laughs> oh, my goodness. 
I just can't <laughs> wait for this. Take a seat. I'm intrigued whether you're all going to fit on this sofa. I think we need to get an extended. <laughs> yeah, just maybe oh just go on. Best job. We're going to squeeze on. <laughs> squeeze on. There you go. We weren't what family anyway. What a delight to have you here. Um, a big weekend ahead of all of you. I mean, come. You've been a Gladiators fan for oh well since you were a little girl, really. What's it like to actually be one? It is. Honestly, a dream come true. I think like you don't realize like everything that you do in your previous childhood and like all the sports that you do lead you up to this moment without realizing and you just feel it's I, I can't explain the feeling like I will never <laughs> ever be able to explain how this feels like I'm just so excited and we're all just ready to put on a show. Because you're all hardcore athletes, you're an elite gymnast amongst many other things as well. Of course, bobsleigh team, Team GB, <laughs> yeah. uh, winning 100 metres in the European Championships, Commonwealth Games. I mean, this is proper accolades here. I do a bit um, of cooking. I, know. <laughs> <laughs> I just about do that. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes, I, I, I'm actually feeling for anyone that wants to come up against you. Mm. I mean, the contenders have got a tough job, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're, as you said, we, we've all got accolades uh, to, to boast about. Um, Harry probably is probably the most energetic guy <laughs> I've <laughs> ever come across. <laughs> That's why I'm called Nitro. Exactly. The energy factor. And he's able to sort of focus that energy on, on probably hitting a few contenders' heads yeah. sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but, 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 Can you tell me about Phantom? What's Phantom going to bring? Uh, Phantom is this elusive character. Um, he comes with... Uh, he's probably the trump card of the lot. Uh, he's a hybrid athlete. Um, I'm probably really... I'm really fast. I'm really strong, really powerful. I'm really nimble for a big guy. I'm sort of medium big. We've got bigger guys than me as well. We've got <laughs> oh, Bionic God. and Giant. Giant. And we've got Comet over here. He just eludes elegance in destruction. Is it true you've got the <laughs> longest... Wingspan of I all of do, the athletes. I do, I do. I've got this. Is, this yeah, is like where I did the, the, group, the group hug. Yeah, yeah. the, the group hugs. Orchestrated <laughs> <laughs> by Phantom. That's remarkable. Apparently, just over two meters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah that's, exactly. I mean, you can fly basically. Yeah. Yeah, basically. Yeah, it's incredible. <laughs> and Nitro, like I say, full of energy. You're clearly very fast guy. Yeah, so Nitro by name is explosivity in nature. Um, I can produce forces that allow me to get up to 26 miles per hour when I'm sprinting. Um, obviously, at the same time, I'm energetic, as I just said. I'm a bit of a... I'm, I'm the social butterfly of the group. I make yeah. sure that, in a certain sense, we're going out there to enjoy ourselves. Because, like you said, this yeah. is a... This, for us, is sort of a pat on the back to everything that we've done in the last X amount of years. Obviously, Summer Olympian, Winter Olympian, Championship gymnast. And, you know, we're out there to celebrate what we've done and to be a real test. Yeah. And then, um, hi, here we go. Hello. 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 <laughs> I'm a little bit. So I <laughs> oh, Rika, I love yeah. this. Can you do your jump for us? Like, oh, this I, is like... I'll do more than... Sorry, this my is, oh, oh, yeah. 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 This is like... <laughs> Nitro, this is a, a superhuman jump, so, basically. So obviously, Please don't injure yourself. Do it whatever myself, safe way. Like, I don't know. I'm going to jump out a shot. <laughs> I'm going to step forward here. This is just to give you an idea of my explosivity. Obviously, we're going to move now in three, two, <laughs> one, <laughs> and up. Oh, I go. God. You might want to slow mo that. Just on the off chance. <laughs> uh, folks, that is only a little taster of what's yeah. to come. Gladiator starts tomorrow, ten to six on BBC One. Thank you so much, Thank everybody. You. Good luck, Hannah. Uh, still loads to come.